Three decades ago, an unusual disaster happened near Jefferson Island. On November 20th of 1980, an oil company drilling beneath Lake Pinure struck an underwater salt dome, causing a sinkhole that sucked in several homes, the drilling platform, 11 barges, and a portion of the Jefferson Island salt mine. The entire lake drained into the salt mine, causing the flow of the Delcom Canal to reverse to refill the lake. Luckily, during the disaster, all workers on the drilling platform and those in the salt mine were able to escape escape, as well as a local fisherman boating nearby, and no injuries were reported. Well, years later, residents are still concerned with the bubble that they see from time to time. It's bubbling, rather, fearing that another sinkhole could form at the bottom of the lake. Today, News 10's Caroline Balchun has visited the lake, where authorities were investigating lines of bubbles that resurfaced. Mysterious bubbles along Lake Pinier brought several environmental agencies out to investigate and take samples of the water, but many say this is nothing out of the ordinary. For years, residents along the lake say bubbles pop up regularly and then disappear for weeks. But Thursday morning, the Department of Natural Resources and the Department of Environmental Quality were sampling the latest pop-up. They say it comes and goes in long patches of white, foamy bubbles. And after studying the samples for years, officials say it's still unclear exactly what the bubbles are made of. Residents who live along the lake say the gas line underneath the water is their major concern. So it could blow up as far as I'm concerned, I think. I mean, it's natural gas stored underneath there. You know, and it has happened before in Brenham, Texas. You know, and I, that's my biggest fear is everybody wants to, you know, worried about that. The DEQ says they've never determined exactly where the bubbles are coming from, but it is an ongoing investigation. Reporting from Jefferson Island, I'm Caroline Balchunas for KLFY Multimedia News.